Hello and welcome along to St George's Park for the first of many performance testing days with all the riders that will take on next summer's Tour 21. It's the first time we've got all the riders together and it's the first time we're going to put them through their paces. And Jeff, despite telling me you're retiring every single year, you're every one of them year. every year. Let's get in there, come on, come, come on. on. First and foremost, to, to welcome you to St George's Park. Um, I'm James McLaughlin, I'm the Chief Exec of Cure Leukemia. I want to say a massive thank you to you all, all the riders, everyone who has signed on to take on this immense challenge. I'm sure you can all blame Jeff Thomas, uh, MBE, who is here with us today, um, because most of the time, whenever you speak to Jeff, and he just gets a little inkling that you're half interested in taking this challenge on, you find yourself going, I've just signed up for the Tour de France. Today is really exciting because we've met everybody for the first time. I didn't know any of these riders. Um, so that's really going to be exciting. I enjoy cycling, so I would cycle five, six hours on a Saturday anyway. And then I've since purchased an indoor trainer, so I think a lot of that's going to come into play in the winter. I think where I need to work on is cycle Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, day after day. So yeah, I think a lot of training going in, but looking forward to it. What is it? Well, it's the, I think it's a unique opportunity really to be able to ride all stages of the, the Tour de France and uh, one week ahead of the pros. And I think uh, just chatting to one of the, the, the team today, I think it's the education that is every single stage and it's the exact same route. And there's a lot of perception that is like, is it one or two stages? It's exactly the same. And in many cases, the same hotels as well as the pros. So it's as real life as you can get. So it's uh, you know, a great event. 